Hi, good evening everyone. This is Jay De Rosales and today pag-uusapan natin ano ba yung seven questions that you can ask yourself, okay? Before even starting a business, okay? So, yun yung pag-uusapan natin ngayong gabi and uh, at the end ng uh, episode natin ngayon, what we will have is a clear uh, vision or clean indo- indication kung makapag-start kita ng business na gusto mo. Okay? So, these are the things na pag-uusapan natin ngayon. And uh, question number one na kailangan nating itanong is what is the goal of your business? Okay? So, bakit ka ba mag start ng business? There are several reasons bakit mag start ng business yung mga tao. Okay? Others are siguro gusto nilang makasama yung uh, family na nila ng mas matagal. Okay? Or they want to increase the the income na natatanggap nila every month or every uh, uh, every year. Okay? So, you need to be very clear bakit ka ba mag start ng business. Kasi ito din yung magiging indication mo if what you are doing is still aligned doon sa original goal mo. Okay? So, either you change your goal kasi there are uh, several things na mangyayari uh, during uh, nagpapatakbo ka ng business. So, you need to align. Kailangan mo bang baguhin yung original goal mo or baguhin mo yung way on how you handle the business. Kasi, Ah uh, siguro yung original goal mo is to spend more time with your family, okay? And because of the business, you are uh losing more time uh, at hindi ka na nakakapag-spend ng time with your family. So, you need to be very specific sa gusto mong uh, goal or mangyari doon sa business. Gusto mo ba siyang maging nationwide or international uh, brand, okay? Gusto mo ba siyang maging Uh, sa province nyo lang or sa bahay nyo lang. Okay? So you need to be very specific about that. And makikita natin yung importance nito as we go along with our topic for today. Okay? So first, make a clear goal for the business na gusto mong simulan. Okay? So that's number one. And then number two is how much money would you like to earn? Okay, marami pong nag start ng business just for the sake of starting their business because nakita nila yung kaibigan nila nag-start ng business. Yung uh, kaklase nila nung high school or nung college, meron ng sariling business. And they want to ride in that, uh, siguro in that trend. Okay, so you need to be also specific kanina. Ang pinag-usapan natin, kailangan specific yung goal. Ngayon, ma- mas specific tayo magkano yung gusto mong kitain every month or every year from your business, okay? Because if you will uh, aim, okay, if you are just aiming to get siguro 10,000 to 20,000 or 30,000 from your business, I'm telling you now, the effort na ilalaan mo in doing the business, uh, kung 10, 20, or 30,000 yung gusto mong kitain, it's not worth it. Kasi it takes a lot of effort and time and uh, expertise for you to run the business. And uh, my suggestion is always dream big. Okay? The bigger the the goal for your uh, for your target income, the better. Because even if you fail to hit that, you will still end up doing uh, better while Uh, compared dun sa uh, 9 to 5 na na corporate na work natin. Okay? So, aim for the bigger uh, earnings when it comes to planning uh, for your business. Okay? So that uh, all your effort will be worth uh, uh, worth nung matatanggap mong income. Okay? So, make sure alam mo yung target mo na monthly income para malaman mo rin ano ba yung weekly target mo and then yung daily target mo. Okay? because every plan every marketing strategy will support to 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 get that uh, daily target na income na gusto mo okay so that's number two. and then number three, ano ba yung product or services na pwede mo i-offer para makuha mo yung target na amount na gusto mo 
to to tell you the truth there are businesses that can that that has limited uh income okay there are other businesses that can earn more compared to other businesses so what will be your uh your target income for a month or for the year will dictate ano bang business yung pwede mong pasukan. Gusto mo ba is uh, kumita ng 100,000 a month? These are the businesses na pwede mong gawin. Okay? Gusto mo ng 1 million a month ang kitaan mo? These are the businesses na pwede mong gawin. And then if you want to earn billions, these are the businesses na pwede mong gawin. And even the business strategy, ganun din. Uh, Nagbavary din siya. Kung uh, depende sa amount ng earning na gusto mong gawin. Okay? So, I will discuss, I think, the next question. We'll tackle more about that. Okay? So, and that's number three. Okay? What product or service uh, you want to sell? And then, number four is what skills you need to learn. Okay? Merong mga businesses that require certain skills. Like, let's say, if you want to enter into aesthetics business you need to have qualification in derma derma technology or a certification for that so there are businesses na kailangan ng ganung qualification let's say if you want to enter into digital marketing business okay so you need certain skills okay you want to enter into uh, baking or restaurant you need certain skills you need to uh, learn how to bake or how to cook, uh, maybe the basics, okay? So you need to ask yourself, do I have the, the basic knowledge or the basic skills required to run this business, okay? Let's say if you want to go for the pet grooming, okay? Do you know how to uh, groom a pet if you want to do that business, okay? So those are the things that you can uh, consider, uh, if you want to enter do any type of business, okay? And then, number five question is what marketing strategy will you implement, okay? So, again, it varies, okay? There are marketing strategies like franchising or distribution or uh, would you like to enter into... Uh, you're, you want to enter your product into a uh, MLM structure, okay? So, or you want to 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 market it like uh, with with resellers or registered uh, distributors, okay? Or you want to establish a depot uh, all around the the nation, okay? So there are different ways on how to market your. Your, uh, your products or services depending on your market, okay? Uh, depending on the demographics uh, ng, ng mga target market mo, okay? So, these are things na pwede nyo i-consider. Pwede ko ba siyang ipa-franchise? Franchisable ba yung business ko? Okay? So, kailangan mo i-consider yun because it will affect how you, you will market your product later on, alright? Okay? And Number six, okay, what equipments do you need, all right? So before even starting a business, but you have a list of all the equipments or materials that you will need. Do you need uh, an oven? Do you need a blender? Do you need certain equipments uh, para ma-produce yung mga products na gusto mong i-produce, okay? So you need to consider them because you need capital to to raise uh, to purchase all these equipment okay so if you if you lack the capital can you take a loan to buy those equipment okay so you need to consider that and then number 7 okay very important kapag nakapag start ka na ng business and you are making profit what will you do with the profit okay uh, there are a lot of people that made their profit, okay? And then they're clueless what to do with the money, okay? If if that will happen to you, you will be lost. Makukonfuse ka kung ano yung gagawin mo. So even before earning your profit, you need to learn how 
how you can use that profit to expand the business, to save uh, for emergencies, okay? To, let's say, look for a real estate investment that you can get with that profit, okay? Or uh, how to uh, use that money to buy other assets or other investments like stocks and bonds and mutual funds, okay? So you need to uh, plan that ahead, okay? Ahead of time so that hindi ka ma-confuse kung ano yung gagawin mo para makapag-focus ka pa rin dun sa business na itinayo mo, okay? So those are the seven, uh, seven questions that you can ask yourself or if you have the partners with your business, you can ask your partner, okay, ito yung mga pwede na, ito yung mga kailangan natin sagutin even before starting a business. Okay? So, those are the seven uh, questions that you need to ask yourself or your partner before even starting a business. Okay? So, this is Jay De Rosales. Thank you for watching this episode. And uh, if, you, if you want to watch our other videos on uh, money management, investment, and business, you can search J. De Rosales TV uh, as my YouTube channel. Okay, so thank you so much for uh, for watching and have a good day.